Now, we're going to have one progress report. I want to invite Ashifi Gogo of Sproxel to the stage to give us a progress report on a commitment he made last year. And let me give you the background. This is something I'm trying to come to terms with now in Haiti and the work we're doing there. In some markets, as many as 30% of the drugs that are sold are counterfeit. In developed countries, fewer than 1% of the drugs are counterfeit, but the number may be rising there as well. 50% of the drugs sold on internet sites that conceal their addresses, that conceal their addresses are fake. And this is a huge deal if you're trying to rebuild the capacity of a country that already is low income, that has significant health challenges, so you have limited money to apply to a big problem, and then when you find you're blowing a big percentage of it, it's not just a question of somebody stealing money. People die if this happens and nobody fixes it. So last year he had an idea and I want him to have a chance to make his progress report. Let's give him a hand. Thank you, Mr. President. I am honored to provide a progress report on my 2009 commitment, um, Freedom from Fake Drugs. This was inspired by an alarming statistic. Uh, Interpol conducted a study in Lagos, Nigeria, and uh, found out that 80% of the drugs were fake. So that's four out of five. It's, it's rather unacceptable. My commitment was to build a Sproxel, a, uh, an enterprise that would provide an easy way for consumers to spot these fake drugs using cell phones. We set out to uh, provide manufacturing companies with uh, item unique labels, and I have one right here, um, such that when consumers buy drugs at the point of, of sale, they can scratch the label, send a text message with the number they see, and get an instant response right there at the counter saying whether the drug is genuine or fake. This allows them to avoid buying these fake drugs and beat the odds. What have we done so far? So far we've provided uh, 1.4 million labels of these labels uh, to pharmaceutical companies in Nigeria. Uh, the Nigerian FDA has fully embraced our solution and we launched in February this year. Uh, when I checked this morning, uh, we had processed over 115,000 SMS messages from uh, text messages from consumers and uh, we have several thousand users, new users, signing on every month in Nigeria. But that's not enough. We need to take this further. So we commit today to grow our operations, to add new countries, new drugs to the service, and to be able to reach several million users in the developing nations, who need access to genuine medication. Thank you very much.